just to show um, that, you know, they're not going through it by themselves all day. Like people are thinking about them. How can I not keep fighting? Like, how can I give up when there's people out there? Sorry. When there's people out there that are willing to fight with me like that, like you can't, you can't give up. Tari's Rafford is a big reason why the AM men's basketball team is off to a perfect 5-0 start to SEC play. But Rafford's nickname, Boots, which is for demonstrating toughness on the court, is really shining through as well. Rafford, as you saw there, recently cut his dreads to show support of his former academic advisor at Virginia Tech, who is currently fighting cancer. Our Ben Peck has more on his heartwarming gesture. AM's win last week over Mizzou featured a new look for the man they call Boots. I didn't do it for no attention, didn't want no attention for it. The smooth style picked up some sensational reviews. I love it. I mean, I think it's great. And Tyrese and I were actually joking about it because he was like, don't I look like I did when I first met you and I couldn't even talk? Elisa Villa first met Tyrese as his academic advisor at Virginia Tech. Radford came in as a struggling student, but her tutelage was life changing. At least helped me change my study habits to graduate in three years from being an academic graduate, graduating in three years now I'm on pace to get my master's. That friendship didn't dissolve after receiving a diploma. It's for life, and that's so, so important to me. I wouldn't be able to stay in this field for as long as I have 17, 18 years now if it wasn't for these relationships. It means a lot to me for a person that didn't know me out of nowhere to actually take the time to um, dive deep with getting to know me. In October, just after her 40th birthday, Elise received a devastating diagnosis, stage four colon cancer. Tyrese was one of the first to find out. If we was together, we would have cried together. Uh, I shed tears when I first heard it. Um, it was hard and I just wanted to know that I'm with her for life. Elise is now an advisor at Coastal Carolina. Shortly after receiving the news, she was able to visit with Boots and her former colleagues at a non-conference tournament in Myrtle Beach. Just being able to see them was so great, just to be in their presence and be able to talk through it. Actually seeing her and getting a chance to hug her tight and uh, not let her go. I could, I could feel the support from all of them. A few months later, Boots underwent a makeover. And he sent a picture from the barber shop and he's like, I'm doing this. I was like, wait, what? What it was, Boots giving Elise some of his strength and joining her in the fight against cancer. I just wanted her to know that I'm with her for life, no matter what, because she did not have to do what she did. And just, you know, it's a job, but it was much more than a job to her. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I love Elise. It's nice for people to see this side of him because he has a heart of gold. I mean, he is truly such a unique person. It's so hard to put into words what that meant to me. It's hard. I mean, there are lonely times in this battle. And then you look at that and it's like, how can I not keep fighting? Thank you, sir. As always, boots might be tough on the court, but showing some softness off the court. Early this week, we can tell you that Elise did begin her second round of chemotherapy. For a link to her GoFundMe page and more information on this story, just head over to the sports page at kxtv.com.